What happened in this villa is a remarkable story. A story that needs to be told and needs to be shared around the world. The heroism of this family, this couple, these remarkable people who stood up and did what was right in the faith, face of such evil, standing up with the potential of so much bad happening to them. To do what they did is something that we need to share and we need to learn from and we need to show forever. When we first came to the zoo a year ago and saw the tombstones, the Matsevas lying on the floor, we thought with that the story ended. We thought that this, like so many other places, was just part of our painful past, was just part of painful heritage. However, however what we discovered very quickly was the story of the Zhabinsky family, a story like so, others, like so many others that few of us know. And to be able to go and come to this villa and see it recreated so well and go down to the basement where we were thankful and lucky enough to play a part in its recreation is something that truly needs to be cherished. It's a site that so everybody has to come to. It's a place that people need to come to, to enjoy, to feel what people doing the right thing can do. Unfortunately, so many of the trips coming to Poland see so many difficult things. We see on the ground the German Nazi death camps, Auschwitz, Treblinka, Majdanek, Chelmno, Stutthof and more. And very rarely we have the opportunity to come to a place where something good happened, to come to a place of positive history. So for me, this place bears such importance. The story isn't as well known as it could be. And that comes and falls to our generation to make sure that we, through the use of social media, through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, share this story to the world, making sure that we all understand what happened here, how it affected the past and how it impacts the future.